Guys, Make It Monday, tonight's project is, um, I couldn't decide between using the wagon wheel or this 14 inch grapevine. So I decided to bring them both out for us so that we could kind of look at this together. And, um, but my inspiration, my focal point tonight is going to be this um, wooden star, this MDF Stars and Stripes. It's one of our newer items. And of course it's the red, white, and blue, but I really like it in the aspects that it's got that wood grain frame around it. And of course the flag. So it, I think it would look good on either one. So if you look at it like next to the wagon wheel, look how fun that is on the wagon wheel. And then I also liked it on the grapevine too. So a little offset to the grapevine. Um, I did bring out some of our poppies, which as you know, poppies represent um, the memories of our fallen. And so every year I really, I really enjoy decorating and showing my support through not only Memorial Day, but just um, our country itself. Um, so I try to try to do a lot for for the holidays or the for the patriotic. So these navy blue, um, I don't even know what they're called. I want to say balls. I'm sure that's not them. What? Oh, berries, navy <laughs> waterproof berry sprays. They're a lot of fun too. Um, so as I was pulling stuff out from my Make It Monday, and I put them in with this poppy spray. Look at what it did. It just like really took it to a whole new level. And so I really liked the two together. So that is definitely going in my design, that's for sure. And I'm gonna look at my grapevine and see where I want to attach the sign. Because my grapevine's a little wonky. I feel like, or do I wanna put the bow over there? Okay, so this one has this really wonky like knot to it. So when I have an abnormality like this, you guys can see the difference, right? You can see this bulge over here. Um, so when I have an abnormality, this is when I look to see if I want to camouflage it with maybe covering it up with a sign, or if I'm going to be adding in florals and a bow, this is a great place to put that and it will cover all of that abnormality up. Of course, grapevines are handmade, um, so you're never gonna get uh, a perfect fit every time and um, it's it's mother nature right it's mother nature we're dealing with so let me I think I like that I like the way that one's feeling so I'm gonna put um, pipe cleaner there and there so I can attach it to my sign I'm gonna hang on Use my electric stapler and my quarter inch staples and attach a couple of pipe cleaners. All right, I'm gonna let this glue dry. So I've attached my sign, and do you see where I left the little, um, I don't know what to call it, wart? Let's call it a wart. I was gonna call it a pimple, and I was like, well, that, even that doesn't sound really cool. Uh, but it's like a little wart, so I, I left it over here, and I'm gonna be able to cover up that wart with um, ribbon and greenery florals, and you won't even know it's there. But it's here. One. Two. I love that because it's got the little um, 
packaging. And they have some green leaves already attached to them. We're going to leave those right there with it. And I'm cutting these about five, six inches long, but I can always go shorter later, right? So I'm going to cut that. So I've added several of these. And I've got three red and I've got four of the cream colored. They're almost a white, but they're, they're not like a true white. So that's, in fact, here's a true white. So they're just a little creamy color or a little dreamy. I don't know. So I've got those ready. We've got our um, navy blue ball sprays and um, our waterproof ball sprays. We got these in kind of late in the year. I would have liked them earlier in the year, but I'm not sad that I have them at all because they are so much fun. They actually have like three separate stems on them. So I'm gonna dissect that into three separate pieces. I'm going to give it a little bit of a tail and uh, a loop about six inches, a loop, and one more loop. All right, so I'm gonna show you what this looks like right now, because it's gonna be a little bit different. So I, this one has three loops. I have a center loop and two on the side, and then I have the two tails hanging down. So that was, I'm gonna do the same thing with our striped ribbon, our glitter stripes. I'm gonna use this glitter stripe ribbon next. Um, or am I? You know what, no, I take that back. I'm gonna use the burgundy ribbon next. Let's use this um, dark, it's dark red burgundy. And I'm gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna do a tail. And this is about an eight inch tail. I'm gonna do a loop. I'm going to do a loop on the other side. And then one more on the left, my left, your right, and a tail. So now, we have loop, loop, loop. We have loop, loop, loop. And tails, tails. So instead of doing two loops on each side, we're doing two loops on the left, one loop on the right. All right, so now I'm gonna go with our third ribbon. And what's really awesome is I'm keeping these loops about the same length. So instead of getting shorter on each one, um, so each loop I kept about the same length as my beginning one. Now, this one, the 7 8 inch fine glitter, this one's gonna go a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller now, smaller loops. So these are about five inch loops. Remember, I'm working with a 14 inch grapevine, so I don't need super long or large loops. So this one's going to be a little bit longer tail here because we're gonna have fun with that. And we're gonna go a little bit shorter on the loops. Ooh, there. There. And look what that did when I added that. And again, I did two loops on this side and one loop on this side, and I made tails. So let me get, I thought I had a piece of this cut already. You know what, let me use a pipe cleaner. Ugh. Let me use a royal blue pipe cleaner.
how my wreath is looking so far. So we've got our little star. I've added that gorgeous bow. I actually curled up the um, 7 eighths inch. I curled it up so it wouldn't be in my way as I'm adding the poppies to this. And I'm getting ready to add the waterproof berry sprays to this as well. Add some of these waterproof berry picks in here. And look how fun those look in this design. So let me keep adding. One is has no greenery whatsoever. We literally used part of the poppy bush and um, the waterproof berry sprays. I've used three of them. So where in the heck did that poppy bush? Oh yeah, there we go. The poppy bush. It came with 12. I still have one, two, three, four, five left. But, and I didn't use any filler or any greenery. And look how pretty that looks. Definitely worthy right then and there. I have a string of glue. Now, watch what happens when I uncurl these, that fine glitter. And again, you can tell the good quality wire in it because it's just, it just has so much volume to it. Look how fun that is. I love working with the 7 8 inch or even the 5 8 inch ribbon. It really just adds a whole dimension to your design. I have a poppy that is back here just kind of chilling, but you can't see him. So let's bring him to the forefront. And give him some credit for being there. He's got to get some credit. To match up the Nutcracker sign back at Christmas. But you didn't have any so I checked. Uh, busy this one. Oh darn it. Thank you Nola. Thanks Toad. So yeah. I'm stopping. I'm not going to use that third waterproof berry spray. Because I think the two in this wreath looks fine. Looks great. And remember, I brought the poppies and I'm just touching the very corner. So see how I joined them together? So the, the sign isn't sitting all by its lonesome. When I work with grapevines, I have that to where it's touching here and touching there. And it makes it all one when it's done. So it brings that. So I find for me anyway, if I don't do that, it feels like my sign is over here in no man's land and then I have a separate or I just don't use a sign at all. If I don't put a sign and I just have florals and greenery, then that's fine. I can have that open grapevine. But when when I do use a sign, I try to always make sure that that it's touching at least one spot or the other. Absolutely. Um, very informative. All right, guys. Thanks for hanging out with me, and I will see you probably tomorrow. A good chance. Very good chance that you will see me tomorrow. <laughs> Have a great rest of your Monday, y'all. Oh, Mary, you and me both love grapevine.